Hello, my name is Mark Kessel and I'm the Chief Examiner at the Music Teachers Board and welcome to this introduction to Performance Grades. The purpose of this video is to help you to plan and prepare to take a performance grade. So what is a performance grade? Well, an MTB exam performance grade is essentially a concert performance of four or five pieces with a target duration, without the musicianship or technical elements which form part of the practical grades. Performance grades are always presented in video and performance grades are the equivalent of practical grades. They are just a different route to achieve the same level of qualification. <clears throat> performance grades are designed to help you develop exciting and fun new skills, skills that you might not have the opportunity to develop or the time to develop if doing practical grades alone, such as how to plan and prepare for a public performance. So to accommodate the development of these new skills, we've included two different elements on the mark sheet. One is stagecraft and sense of performance, and the other is programming. Of course, you will still be assessed on the accuracy and expression and technique in the performances of your pieces, but essentially there are these two important categories you need to consider when taking a performance grade. As I say, stagecraft and sense of performance and programming. Think of a performance grade as being given a slot in a concert, a 10 minute slot, for example, in which you have the chance to entertain and impress your audience. So let's look at these categories. Before beginning to prepare for your performance grade, you need to plan your programme. So the first thing you should do is consider the target duration, choosing suitable pieces. The target duration can be found on the website and you need to select four or five pieces that will accommodate that target duration. MTB's target durations are designed to be exactly that, a target. They're not intended to act as a constraint to your creative programme planning. It's there to provide a guide as to what would be an appropriate level of content at each grade. However, be cautious as planning your programme is a key skill and a performance that falls significantly short of a target duration may find that it also impacts on your ability to display an appropriate level of expressive and technical content and this potentially can affect your expression, technique and programming marks. So it is especially important to consider this at grades six to eight because at those grades there are actually fixed minimum and maximum durations. So how do you select suitable pieces to uh, accommodate this target duration? Well, they first of all need to, of course, be of the correct grade standard. They need to be pieces you will enjoy and pieces that will show you at your best. Also, though, think about creating a program that's interesting for the audience. So think about contrast and variety and impressing your audience with a variety of different expressive and technical skills. So once you've created your programme, you need to turn your attention to the sense of performance and the stagecraft elements. For this section of the exam, we're looking at things like presentation, how you present yourself. Think how you would present yourself if you were doing a public performance, how you would dress, how you would like your performance space to look. Posture, how you hold your instrument and yourself how you communicate with the audience and how you communicate maybe with an accompanist, the engagement you have with the music you're playing and the confidence with which you present your programme. Those are the kind of areas that we're looking at. So to help support you in achieving that, I've got a few areas I wanted to discuss. You might want to, for example, to enhance your sense of performance and stagecraft, you might want to think about introducing items. 
although it's not compulsory to introduce items, it can be a very good way to draw your audience into your performance, engage them in what you're doing, and it can also help to give context to the pieces you're playing and help them to enjoy what they're listening to. And of course, introducing items or introducing yourself can also help you to achieve the target duration. You might want to think about having an audience. An, an audience can really give a performance a real lift, a real sense of performance lift, which is wonderful. And also it can create nice space between the items you perform, especially if there's some applause, which you can then demonstrate that you understand how to acknowledge that applause, perhaps with a bow, for example. You might want to think about accompaniments. Having a good accompaniment can really give a performance a great lift. Of course, unfortunately, COVID has made it quite difficult sometimes to have accompaniments and it can be quite hard for a performance not to fall rather flat without an accompaniment. So if you can have your piece accompanied either live or with a recording, that's definitely going to help with this sense of performance area. If you have a live accompanist, remember to acknowledge them at the end of your performance because they are part of your performance. So I hope this talk has given you some guidance on how to plan and prepare for a performance grade. For more information, please do visit the website where there is an About Performance Grades page on the website. And most of all, enjoy your performance grades, have fun and good luck. <laughs>